Every molecule that you make in a drug discovery program is a molecule that has never been made in the universe ever. You are completely and entirely in no man's land when you are doing this work. Large molecules cannot get inside the cell. So large molecules can influence diseases, right, by interacting with things that are on the surface of the cell. Small molecules can get inside the cell. We can interact with the machinery inside of cells. We can disrupt certain processes within cells. The challenge of drug discovery is, is finding that molecule. I mean, it often is a needle in a haystack, and we will make uh, thousands of molecules uh, in order to find the right one, which has exactly the right properties that, that we're searching for. And it's a very iterative process. You test them in your biological assays, you look at their metabolism properties, and then based on that, you go back and you make the next molecule that you think will have the right properties. 90% of the experiments that you run don't work. The successful scientists are the ones who spend their time talking about how to make it work. Because 10% of the time it does, but you have to run all 10 experiments to figure out which one is the one that's ultimately gonna help you refine your hypothesis. You have to be the eternal optimist. You have to believe that the next molecule that you make is gonna be the right one. When people ask me, what is the competitive edge of the small molecule group in Genentech? It's the same answer that you give if somebody says, what is Genentech's competitive edge in the large molecule discovery world? It's biology. It is understanding the biology of the cell, of the disease, and then saying, all right, what would be the best drug platform to pursue that disease based on the kinds of targets that are ultimately contributing to that disease? Sometimes it's a big molecule, and sometimes it's a small molecule. Given the complexity of what we do, you need a large team of individuals in order to be successful, and a team which has a very diverse uh, set of disciplines that are, that are represented. My favorite sport when I grew up was football. You organize up as a team, right, and you go execute as a team. There's a social aspect to it that is important to me. And what that does is, is that allows you to solve problems that are more complex than you could solve if you were on your own. Once you begin to understand the complexity of the human body, the fact that we're able to fool it in a way that we can actually come up with a molecule and in fact it benefits patients, it really is a miracle. And you know, there are hundreds of people that are involved in that process to get it out of the mind of the chemist uh, and get it to the patient. It, it's, it's a remarkable journey.